Rainbow. I got the name down pat, my man. Yes, sir. You got it pat. Let's see how Captain Andrew.
Give me all the new guys. We all we need here. First time we walk in, you have a sign-in sheet. I'm going around. Please sign in name, number, and email address, please. Go ahead, Kat. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, uh, family, uh, first and foremost, uh, we want to thank everybody uh, for responding to the call. Uh, I want to thank uh, Big Mike. Uh, Big Mike. Big Mike. Big Mike allowed us to uh, use his uh, location. So uh, can we show him some love? <laughs> also, I want to thank uh, Bishop Saunders. Yes. yes. see this you may agree you may not agree but we started this with 20 men right and the foundation was God mm -hmm. but after that was unity mm -hmm. so what that means is we didn't care about your title we didn't care about your, your education we just cared about stopping this violence yeah. and coming yeah. together yeah. Right. And that's what allowed us to work. That's how we was able to get 1,312 men at the parade. And that's how we've been consistent. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what allowed us to be consistent. Um, just to love that the leadership, I mean, I can go down the list from Bishop Daniels, Pastor Burton, yeah. Bishop Dwayne Johnson, uh, right. Right. Pastor Hagler, Dr. Bunley, Elder Hall, Bishop Stokes, right, right. Man, brother, uh, Pastor Marvin, Marvin brother yeah. Mike, yeah. brother Tyrone, brother G. I mean, the list goes on. Right. These are men that humble themselves and walk the community with humility, uh, not worrying about who was in charge, who was getting the credit, who was speaking. We just were servicing our people. Right. So uh, that is our approach, and with God willing. This is going to continue to expand. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I, I just want to thank Brother Mike, man, for being Mike Tony. And uh, Mike's serious about making a difference. He ain't care about anything. He made it clear, man, let's just do it. All right. That was Mike language to me. And I'm, and I, and I'm glad that he, he, he has the heart, man, and he want to make a difference in this community. So I want to turn it over to Mike. And then, um, you know, what? Um, First and foremost, uh, I really, really appreciate all you men coming to this community. In South Baltimore, Cherry Hill get forgotten a lot. It's about East and it's about West. Mm -hmm. But we live out here on the island. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we get overlooked. Um, so I really, really appreciate all you guys coming out and uh, doing this walk. Um, it's not about me. I'm a servant of the city of Baltimore. And I'm just here to try to do my part and make a difference. That's it. I don't, I don't need no trophy, I don't need none of that. I'm about doing the work, and I see you guys are too. So I appreciate y'all. Um, Martin Luther King said, uh, hate can't drive hate, I only love to do that. That's right. Darkness can't drive darkness, I only like to do that. <laughs> so, you know, let's go out here and love this community yeah. and, uh, and show them a different way and give them hope. My program is called Rich, Restoring the City Hope. So let's give these people hope, man. 
show them some love. Yes, sir. Thanks again. All right. Y'all know me, I'm gonna talk about resources and jobs and stuff. But I'm so excited about this, I gotta do this first. <laughs> Y'all know we went and got a logo made, everybody knows the logo was dope. Yeah. Man, me and Mike got together, Mike went to his connect. So we got these. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. And what we're hoping is that uh, based on the deal that we get with these, we can literally do it in a way where we be able to bring some money to the That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what we're doing. Yeah. 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 So these hoodies just to start. I want hoodies, baseball caps, all of that, because the more uniform we become when we out there, the greater the presence. That's right. You know what I mean? I yeah. love, that's the one thing I love about State Street. I ain't got to never guess who they are. Right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Whether, no matter what community I'm in, whether I'm down south, whether I'm up in Sandtown, where I'm at Pitt North, I always know who them brothers are. And I think that that's a, a strong, strong direction for us to be able to move in. Um, the way that we'll be able to identify and recognize each other. Pastor McKeesha, come yeah. on up with um, So I sent out a group text message to what totaled to be 136 people today. There was. They were the last four, maybe five times we were out, all of the people that we connected with that had phone numbers, and we pretty much told all 136, and God will get the glory if they all show up to show up at my church tomorrow because I didn't want to swarm my office like that. I mean, they show me love on the project, but that's a, a huge number um, because we had open interviews at uh, Holly Poultry and Bakery Express, which is two of our more faithful employment um, resources as well as what? I'm forgetting something. Oh, that right there. You want to talk about? It? Mm -hmm. All right. Is she right? Yeah. So we can. Nah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a contact with Amazon where they need. Uh, oh, so 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 what happened is <laughs> Pinnacle Logistics is no more. Yeah. Amazon is taking over its own operations at the airport and they call it Amazon Air. And right now they're in a full out recruitment mode where they need a lot of people. So if you know folks that can benefit from these opportunities, um, what we want, what I want you to do is to try your best to direct them to me because again, uh, we don't want a free for all of people, first of all, because the people hurt themselves when they go and they're not properly prepared. That's right. Everybody that comes to my church tomorrow is going to get some information about themselves and about And being able to send prepared folks is the reason that we can continually go back to some of these resources because we're not sending them trash. Right. We're sending right. them people that have been properly prepared. They know what they're going into, what they're looking for, and what the employer is looking for. Um, so those are just three of the hot topics that we have right now um, as it pertains to employment. And we still are able to help people whether they fit into those categories or not. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me, Miss Ebony, I'm going to let Ebony, I'm sorry, Sister Ebony. Reverend. Reverend. Amazon, um, right now, they're doing interviews at the BWR Country and Suites. They'll pick you up from um, the light rail. They're looking for over 200. They have their new... Um, a warehouse, yes, that, um, uh, gosh, Arundel. It's right at, um, uh, not Arundel Mills, I'm sorry, it's in Hanover. So, um, yeah, so if you guys don't mind, um, here's some flyers. Um, right now, they're going to be interviewing from now into the first week of April. And um, you can, as um, far as um, backgrounds and things like that, um, it's the airport site. So they do have um, a lot of other um, facilities um, that, um, if, you have a ba if you have a record, they still would hire you, okay? That's right. Yeah. Three, three, three quick things. Uh, <coughs> this one is up to the major. Poti and Pass, uh, Poti and Pasco Avenue. They have taken over that McDonald's. It's a drug deal. They have five overdoses in the last two months. Have right. mercy. Right there. There's an encampment y'all know behind McDonald's. Yeah. And around the county. 
Bubble of city camp, bubble of city. There, there's differences. So that's why it has not been taken care of. There's been five ODs and one serious beating in McDonald's. It's on video. I ask that we eventually, as a group of us, of all of us, go down there. Like somebody told me, love them guys. I know who they are. We need to love them guys so they can stop doing that thing in the McDonald's. They got that lady in fear. And it's a black woman who owns that McDonald's. All right, now, drug treatment has been working well. All right. All right. Well, let me tell y'all, man, every time we somebody wants to go to drug treatment, I got him in, John Hopkins, immediately, because we have an agreement and a contract with them. They are taking them in right there. Right they see me, awesome. they don't take them in. Awesome. All right. No failure. Right. So, again, those are two things. The third thing is that, frankly, this year, with McKinstry and and Captain and, and, and Bunley, we get vehicles that I don't have to drive my own stuff. So we can, when we start taking people to these places that need to be taken to, I do housing, I do emergency housing as well. Let's do this, because I'm, I'm still in it to win it. All right. Amen? All right. Amen. It's all right. Y'all think I'm still in it? I'm still, still in it. To win it. To win it. That's what we're doing. Last week, uh, we had councilman, a councilman come and said that not many of us are registered to vote. I'm a registered voter. How many people here registered to vote? Yeah. Who's not registered? Anybody here not registered to vote? Uh, no, not me. We have a young lady here who's certified to register. Anybody that's not registered to vote. And while we're out as well, if, we want to, if they want to register to vote, we're going to register them right on the spot so we can get people out to vote. So, so right, you can yeah. raise or anybody need to register to vote? Things are no, no, I, I made a mistake. All right. So anybody while we're out, point them towards her so we can get some registers to vote. Right, right, right. Right. Uh, good evening. My name is uh, Warren Williams Sanger. I'm the former director for State Street Shire Hill. And um, one thing I want to just put out there, I was with State Street since 2010, since, since 2011. I stopped working for State Street. October the 8th, 2020. The reason I can remember that, that's when I got diagnosed with multiple myeloma, which is a cancer inside your bone. So I don't want this community ever to think I walked away from y'all. Because this is my passion. Right now, I got fractured back, my, my vertebrates are collapsing, and the, the, the cancer I have is progressive, it's incurable, and it's fatal. But this is what I'm saying. I'm all here today because I know this community that much. I don't work for Say Street, I don't work for nobody. But my passion, when, when I seen what happened, man, you talking about something that hurt. And when Brother Mike called me and I said, guess what? I woke up this morning, so I ain't got no sleep. So, so I ain't telling nobody what to do. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to do. And if everybody do what they supposed to do, we can get a grip on this. Because I know, I know a couple dudes, what I'm saying, I gotta have a conversation. Yeah. Some of us scared to have a conversation. Yeah, right. You got to have a conversation. That's you gotta right. engage with them. That's right. You gotta respect them. Yeah, and they will right. respect you. Right, right. But what, what I'm saying is, if you ain't got no respect for them, how do you think they're gonna respect you? If yeah, you're scared right. of them, why would they even come to you? That's you right. know what I'm saying? So we gotta put that yeah, fear yeah, factor yeah. away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That hurt factor away. No excuses for me. I ain't talking about none of y'all. I ain't got no, I'm hurting like crazy right now. But guess what? It ain't no way I'd be but right here in Shire Hill. It's all right. It's all right. Thank you, bro. You want to bring up the new uh, director now? Hey, I'm, I'm um, Juice. Um, I'm the site director of the Sage Street Sites here in Shire Hill. And I want to give y'all a brief um, update on the state of Shire Hill right now for violence. And like uh, the shootings and homicides that just happened on Sunday and Monday. Um, we had this uh, young guy, we all knew him, grew up with him, named Bernie Mack, we called him. Um, he was sitting in his car right up here in Cotton Court on Sunday at 9 o'clock. And a guy came up there and took his mic, shot him in the chest about four times, shot him with his head five times. Walked on down the back. So, um, his man, you know, you know, they went after that guy in court Monday when school was letting out right here on the school property uh, while the kids was coming home. Uh, he banged it out with them. He killed one of uh, them, got one of them in the hospital right now, and they killed him. And um, for the rest of his little crew, they're saying that it's over. They felt that if uh, 
he would kill uh, one of them early when he went after him and did that. So they felt like uh, it was an eye for an eye They did by that movie. So um, it's supposed to be over, right? Because there's nobody for them to go after. And um, other than that, <coughs> Cherry Hill is, is squashed. The beefs are out here squashed. We just squashed one up the um, top of the hill where we had some um, young guy, young man got shot in the hand. Tried because one boy took the gun on and he grabbed it. Shot him in the breast. And took him to the hospital. Major and them got there. He was on it the whole time with the little crews up there. And then, um, they supposed to squash it, supposed to get in word, caught him down there by the gas station, lit, they lit him up with the car and stuff like that. So it was still long, beef was still going. So what I him, they was ready to let the little guys have. Could have took their life, but they had enough guard and they said, I don't want to do I just want to get a point to them that I don't want to see my son die. Right. Like, and I'm not going to let none of them take my son life. But, it was difficult for him to get it squashed because, like I say, they wasn't keeping to their word. He's a man of his word, and he raised a little son like that. So I asked him, do you got your, your son in there? He said, yeah. I said, you just got me for I said, do you want mediation? He said, yeah. He said, we're going to do it up in my office. Got him up there. Got them up there. Big Gerald and my team, they got in there. They got the guy to get their work, put it on the table and everything. That day got squashed, they hugged, they back up there right now. Best friends, you know what I'm saying? Getting along. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Cherry Hill, man, it's like, um, they get it like the little guys, man. They all get along. Most by the impact of the most by all this violence that happened that day on Monday. On the school zone is the school. Yeah, right, right. The staff there, the principal on down, they got to meet up every day in their huddle just to check in on each other and make sure they are, they are number with this, nothing like that. And um, it's going to impact them. They need uh, people to help them to get through that. To be a lot of older people. And then and it never happened before. And then the children are impacted because the, the young man who was laying on the ground dead. Um, his son came and said, that's my father. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And everybody had to get him to wake up. He was like, nah, my father, he wasn't dead. He was like, I'm trying to hit him. I want to talk to him before he did that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my father. Whoever did this, I'm going to kill him. Mm -hmm. Then I like, yeah, he was going off and going off, right? So um, we were there on him. We got him away and stuff, right? And um, uh, police, they didn't understand it, but they step back and let us like handle that punk and everything while they go and rush them to the hospital to try to save them. Um, so the school, uh, the principal and her staff got to go class for class, right? Every day, and the time that happened, they got to go each class just to check on the children to see if they are right. Some, some parents don't want to send their children back to school because they don't know if they're going to come back home. And um, so what we decided to do was to like um, post up. It's only for uh, seven of us of Safe Streets in Cherry Hill. But we do, what we did was found out what time they dismissed. And they dismissed around like three o'clock. So we'll be up here at 2.30, check in with them, and then we'll line up and we'll uh, be on the path on their way home to school. And I just asked if any of y'all can, I asked Captain, uh, Captain Andy if he could send some men out here, right? Some of the fruit or whoever, or friends, right? The parents would love to see what they're doing to their children to come home, knowing they're getting home safe and see you standing right there, making sure the children don't get home safe, right? It would really um, you know, bring that smile back out of their hearts, right? That's them, right? Because a lot of people want to pack up and leave here, you know? And so, um, if, men, if it ain't enough men in charity here, then it's enough men involved. That's right. 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 That's
That's right. It's where it's all. You can't go out and teach them. You know, they're teaching them every day, right? Make sure they get back home. That's all. Right. Yes. Help us to make sure they get back home. Thank you, speak but he gave us his church in Brooklyn and he allowed us to walk the streets along the safe street <coughs> and um and we've been out there how long now about three months so we've been very consistent doing what we can do so I just want to thank you from everybody even though we don't want to speak <laughs> yeah, yeah, two, two minutes two minutes so Juice says something real important he said um basically policing yourselves right Back in the day, we policed ourselves. That's we didn't right. have people that's from right. outside our community come in the community and try to police them. Right. Right? That's important. That's yeah. the biggest thing that we can have going right now. And I think Cherry Hill has done that, at least since I've been here. It seems like everything is contained. I don't have to send a bunch of guys not from the neighborhood breaking down doors. That's not what, that's not what a community is. Right. All the children that saw that the other day, they see us escorting them home. It doesn't look good. Yeah. All that does is give them the notion that they're not safe mm -hmm. because we're here, right? And so for me, you know, coming here and seeing this, because I've always been in violent neighborhoods, um, this, was, this was something special. Um, in fact, I spoke at um, American University, which you didn't know about two weeks ago. Yeah, you know, the tribe district over there in, in, in Holland Street. Mm -hmm. um, but the only way this is going to work um, is if we take ownership of ourselves. That's right. That's right. And we also lead these young men because they don't have leaders. Yes. All right. All right. When he spoke of uh, having multiple myeloma, it, sh it shook me because I lost my father to multiple myeloma. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and so I remember what that felt like. And losing him, for me, you know, was like, it shocked me. Didn't know what to do, who to talk to when I, you know, when, when I was feeling low. So I had to figure those things out on my own. Right. But the only way we can do this is we have somebody else to reach out to That's right. Right. to bring you back. And so um, I appreciate Safe Streets. I appreciate you guys, and hopefully we can uh, do this more. Thank you. See Cherry Hill at its height and Cherry Hill at its lowest point. And I understand over the period of time, I was, I was sharing with uh, Antoine back here, folks in Cherry Hill are sensitive. You know? And they're right. We're sensitive. You know, we're sensitive. We always feel like we've been forgotten. We feel like people don't remember us. That stuff happens all, all over in West Baltimore and East Baltimore. You know, and everybody gets the attention. And so what I'm hoping is that when this is over, and, and, and things are working right that we don't lose the attention. That, that the contention continues to stay into this community. It's a very self-contained community. You're either from Cherry Hill or you're not. And, and that's a fact. If you understand the language or you don't. You know? And so you need to, people need to understand that. Um, I support safe streets like 1,000%. I had the blessing to be on a committee that, 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 that hired the first group of safe streets people. Because I understand clearly, I understand this clearly. They have a voice I don't have. They can talk to people that I cannot, have, I cannot talk to. But what I can do is support the people who can. That's right. Yeah. And yeah. be there for the ones that can do it. There's a scripture that says, Paul planted a pile of water, but God gives the increase. That's right. <laughs> and what it means is, is that every one of us is supposed to be, do our job at our level. That's right. Yeah. And don't be worried about the guy who's doing the job at his level. Did you support that person so that guy that's on the front line got all the support behind him that's right. to do what he needs to do? And I think that's where the unity comes in at, is that all of us understanding what it is that we do, how we do it well, working with the police department, the police department not our enemies. We work it all together. We pray, but we do more than just pray. We get out there, that's you right. know? We call the older because we know the way. They call the younger because they're strong. 
And so we've got to be able to work this thing together. So I'm saddened by the reason that all of us have come together, but I'm happy that it happened. I'm happy that God has drawn us together. And I pray with everything in my heart that this is not the end. This is not the end. That this is an impetus for something great that's going to happen in Cherry Hill. I've learned something about these young men in Cherry Hill. I know I say I may not be out there on the streets, but I've learned something. I'm on. I'm in the shopping center. I'm in in in, in uh, the carryouts everywhere all the time. And as bad as they may seem to be, that's right. As bad as they oh, may seem to be, when I talk to one. They feel two things: love and respect. Yeah, yeah. If these yeah. kids know you love and respect them. You don't have to know your name. Yes. They will respond to you, oh, yes, sir. Yes. Well, don't cuss in front of me, yes, sir. Yes. They will do it. And so I employ all of us that when we get out there, don't be afraid. Go with the love of God in your heart. And when you go with the love of God and respect them as well, they will be received. So we're going to pray, and we're going to walk, and we're going to do what we do. Is that all right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I just want to say something. I came into the meeting late, and I apologize. I had to work with you. But some of these kids are not going to be affected by what they think. Yeah, we I work for the state mental health for trauma-informed care. If you want to take my number, I already reached out to the principal. She has my number because some of these kids may need some ex internal mm -hmm. services. So that's why I'm here. I wanted to give my number for anybody that thinks that they can need some extra services. That's what I'm here for. And we're on the state level. Okay? Right. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. And we bless you for your love, your grace, your mercy, and your kindness unto us. We thank you because we know that you are God and doeth all things well. We bless you for this moment. And we bless you for the spirit of unity that exists in this room right now. We ask, oh God, that this spirit of unity go not just in this room but throughout this community and throughout this entire city. You told us in your word that where there is unity, there is strength. Amen. And that your blessings are commanded right there. So bless us now, God, as we go out to impact the people that you love, the people that you care about. Give us direction. Give us guidance. Give us your grace. Give us your mercy. And give us your favor. We commit all of our work and all of our assignments unto you for the betterment of your people. These, these things we pray tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Father, 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 so everybody, you got two guys running in front, one in the uh, back. You got uh, most guys in the back walking with You hear me? No, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, Mike, Mike, where's Mike? Yo, gentlemen, can we listen up? We, hey, listen, we don't play, hold up. We don't play about safety. Right now we're getting safety information. Everything else going to have to wait. We don't play about our safety. We got people that's going to lead us. We need to know who those people are, and we need to know who we follow. So please give your attention to the brother. Let him say what he got to say. Then we chop it up back there. Amen. 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 Of course, again, we move together. We stay together. We don't need nobody behind the walls. We got to go to We move it out. And we, like she said, we let the neighbor know that we're in the neighborhood. We keep everybody in front. Mike gonna give us direction on which way we go. We're gonna leave by the head. We're gonna go straight up uh, bunch. Yeah. Then we're gonna uh, by Cotton Court. Then we're gonna come down to um, Salmon and Brown. Uh, if, there's, if there's a lot of activity, that we're gonna go down in the 3400 block of Salmon. If not, we're gonna make the right up round. The left one, uh, Ridge River, is gonna lead us to Salmon Road. We're gonna walk up Salmon Road. Shell Banks, right. around the Giles. Yeah. Charlie the road, the shopping center, across Bishop Sardis lot, and back here. Thank you, Mike. We all we got. We all we need. We all we got. We all we need. We all we got. We all we need. We all we need. Mr. Brown. I can't hear it today. I don't know. Is it coming? I don't know. They live in the 
Yeah, you, call, you got your phone, don't you? Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Chris White. Terry Hill is in the house. You from here too, ain't you? Y'all lived out here before. Oh, no, no, no. How you doing? I'm okay. How about you? It's like this. It's some Okay, we just going to let it Larry Wallace. Man, you know every Friday we out there. I know. Y'all brought me out there. Oh, you did? Yeah. 10 to 10 to 12. I'll be out there tomorrow. Just call me. Yo, up. You got my phone number. Let's keep it tight. Let's keep it tight. Every, every Friday. Yeah. And tell it, tell it, get the people out of there. Where was outside? The news crew out here. <laughs> Look, we brought the love of Jesus Christ out here. Everybody else is gonna follow up with that. That's what we do. We yeah. come here in love, peace, and respect to this neighborhood. Oh, Terry Hill, yeah. here we are, and here oh, we're here to do what we can. You heard it, brother. We're all we got, we're all we need. There you go. And the numbers are increasing. So to that we say to God be the glory. We're all we need. We're all we need. We're all we need. We 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 all we got. We all we need. We all we need. We all we got. We all we need. 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 My brother's keeper. I am 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 my brother's keeper. My brother's keeper. My brother's keeper. That's who I am. 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 My brothers keep us. 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 That's who I am. That's who I am. They still working. That's who I am. They still working. They still working. That's who I am. 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 We all we need. We all we need. We all we need. We all we need. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Man, I got some resource papers if y'all want to pass them out. Show up. Show up. Show up. Show up. Show up. 
Show up. Show up. If you fed 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 up. Show up. Show up. Show up. If you fed 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 up. Show up. Show up. Show up. Can I get an oh yeah? Oh yeah. I like that one right there. We all we got. We all we need. 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 We gonna do a moment of silence for the for the young man that was uh, murdered right here. Hey, somebody give me a resource. Thank you. We gonna we gonna go right back down through here and go down. Uh, I am my brother's keeper. I am my brother's keeper. I am my brother's keeper. My brother's keeper. I am 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 my brother's keeper. Be more. That's who I am. 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 I am my brother's keeper. 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 That's who I am. Be more. 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 That's who I am. 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 That's who I am.
We all we need. 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll be back when we turn. 